daddy in the building i'm just saying <laughs> i know he's here that's why i'm saying that um because he watches my every move but anyways move oh yes cheating stealing robbing everything anyway bitch back to what i was saying hit the like button oh we got one more to 400 i see y'all i see y'all <sighs> anyway guys um what else was i saying my kid's father oh yeah okay i'm sorry i've been getting on track honey i'm not trying to be on here that long anyway here's the thing also people wanted to make up rumors okay because that's what they were rumors <laughs> okay and that's on what that's on per you know why they're rumors because i passed the drug test that's why y'all wanted to say i was on drugs hmm that's slander and that goes to show you guys all of my followers all the people who like me all the people who come across my page because you hear some bullshit about me people make shit up all day every day about me and that was one thing i'm on drugs i'm a drug addict i'm a this i'm a that then how did i pass a hair follicle test mm -hmm. hair follicle test go back six months a hair follicle test the shit would be in my hair if i do drugs the way you guys say i do drugs it would be in my hair there's nothing you can do to take that out your hair nothing it's in your hair so and he cut out chunks baby but look i still got a whole bunch of bitch but he cut out chunks and guess what my dumb ass baby father he fell for that shit he tried to modify the court order and keep my children because of that because of that lie and he knows how youtube works he's been with me long enough and he knows me he knows who i am and he still let that shit get in his head and he he paid for the drug test honey it was like a hundred some dollars and i pass how dumb you must have felt how stupid you must have really felt when you saw that drug test come back negative both of them <sighs> you must have felt really stupid i couldn't imagine is that why when i picked up my kids from the airport it was supposed to be the police department but you couldn't make it there so out of the kindness of my heart once again i let you violate the court order and i met you at the airport right and you want to sit by my car why everyone's telling me to move. Y'all, I didn't want to say nothing to him. I said hello to my babies. And I I was ready to go. Looking straight. He was saying bye-bye to all the kids. He told me, uh, excuse me, uh, goodbye. <laughs> I didn't have shit to say to him. Uh-huh. Oh, you can't speak? Uh-huh. No, I can't speak. Speak to who? Who am I speaking to? Who? Speak to you? The one who tried to call me or go with everybody else and try to say I'm on drugs? And my kids are not in a good environment and it's dangerous and all this extra shit. <sighs> oh, girl, let me tell you, it felt so good. Shout out to the judge. Mm. Try to tell me, you know how broke I am? You know how broke I am? I'm broke. Baba. What you telling me for? I ain't your woman. What you want? That was your idea to modify the court order. That was your idea to go out your pocket and pay for a drug test. You know me. And you should have knew I wasn't on no fucking drugs. But you didn't know, right? You didn't go with your first mind. And you knowing me for nine fucking years to be like, nah. My baby my baby mama's a lot of things. She might be a bitch. She might be a, she might be a hoe. <laughs> I'm just like, oh. But I damn sure ain't no drug addicts. Okay, bitch, I keep telling y'all, look at me, I'm fat as hell. Where do I do drugs? Where do I do, where do I do drugs? Look at my teeth. Where do I do drugs? I'm just wondering, look at my skin, look at my hair. Bitch, drugs where? Some of you reactors look like y'all on drugs, okay? Especially the spotted face one. Bitch, you look like you do meth, okay? With all them spots all over your face. Bitch, don't play with me. Mm -mm. Anyway. I won, and that's on fucking purr, and I will continue to win. 
because I'm a good woman, I'm a good mother, and I'm a good person, okay? And the next time you want to make up a rumor or a lie about me, you better be able to back that shit up, because I back that shit up, honey, okay? Now, you can pass a drug test, you can pass a pee test, no, bitch, it was a hair follicle test. You cannot pass that, stupid, okay? The fuck? Unless you're not using your hair. The fuck? I didn't have a wig on. Y'all saw my fucking hair all over the goddamn place. Stupid. Anyway, like I told him, I'm gonna tell you bitches, it sucks to lose, huh? Especially when you really thought you were gonna win. <laughs> it must suck. It must suck. But God sees everything. God knows everything. Okay? Okay. That water's good. Anyway, uh, what else did I want to say? At my weakest point this summer, my birthday was ruined, but it's okay. I didn't get to see my babies for their birthday, but it's okay. And my kids weren't even with their dad, okay? And I don't even know if you guys know this, but in the court system, they take that very seriously. Like, if you're going to have your child, you need to have your child. You know, when my kids are here with me, they're either with me or my mother. And they're not really with my mother, ever. If they're with my mother, they're with me too. Because I'm still here in the house. I'm still here. I work from home. But his hours are crazy. He has crazy hours. So most of the day, my kids were with some random woman, some random woman. And you can say what you want. And I'm not even trying to talk bad about her. Because if I say anything bad about her, y'all think I'm immediately pressed. Bitch, ain't nobody pressed. Pressed about what? He is my, he's my leftovers. He's a man that I had for nine years. I have his children. He had a vasectomy. He can't have no more. Um, if he does get it reversed, snip, snap, snip, snap. Okay, cool. He has a baby with the bitch. I don't give a fuck. I don't care. I wanted my kids, and I want my child support. That's it. That's it. Because I've already proven to myself, which I already knew, I can get niggas. I can get whoever I want. Unfortunately, I have been. I have been stooping a little low when it comes to, you know, what I deserve. I haven't been going for, like, really with what I deserve. Um, but that's my fault. And I learned my lesson and I'm not going to date any more bums ever again. Because when you date somebody who has nothing to lose, bitch, no. <laughs> you can't do that, okay? And like I always tell you guys, I was in a relationship from all of my 20s, okay? <laughs> I didn't date around. I didn't get to know guys. I didn't do all this. And let me also point something out. Y'all want to be like, oh, well, he's been with one woman and he's this and he's that. Okay. Y'all don't know how many women he's been with. Because he doesn't vlog his life like how I do. Okay? <sighs> Number two. He left myself and the children to go and figure out his next moves, his next steps, to date around, to fuck around, to party, to do this. Do whatever he wanted to do while I was at home with the kids 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Okay? Even when I went to Texas, he was hardly around. Okay, I had to figure everything out with my kids being around me, unfortunately. He's getting old, then get out. If, if this whole topic, I'm not trying to bore you with this, but understand, this is still, I'm still going through this. I'm still very much going through this. If he just took my kids in the proper way at the beginning of the summer, people are like, oh, well, you get them how you get them. Bitch, I didn't get to pack a bag because he told me he wasn't going to take my kids. I was under the impression he wasn't taking my kids. I didn't even get to say goodbye to them. I didn't get to hug them, kiss them, nothing. So I didn't know they were leaving. That's why I didn't pack them a fucking bag, okay? I would have packed them shoes, clothes, everything. Everything. Because that's the type of mother I am. Which, by the way, I got nothing when they, got, when they were returned to me. I didn't get... Like, he couldn't even take them to the store to get some fly-ass Nikes and just send them back with some Nikes on? Like, that's what you're telling me here? Like, you couldn't spend $200 on some Nikes and send your kids back with some fly-ass shoes? At least? 
They all came back with some fucking sandals and a fucking ponytail on top of their head. What happened though? I thought you were keeping on top with their hair. Robin said she got her hair done once. The baby said the same thing. Like I said, he doesn't vlog. So the pictures you saw, yeah, they were snapped at a certain point, and that's what you saw, which that's also what the court saw. All those fake ass pictures, he sent all those pictures into the court so he can look like a certain type of dad, which is cool. Do you, homie, do you. But I don't do this shit for social media. I don't do this shit to send into the judge. I do this shit every fucking day because this is my fucking job, okay? My mothering is number one job for me, and I don't play with that. I don't, I don't leave that up in the air. I don't uh, leave it. I don't abandon it. I don't uh, choose a bitch over it. I don't do all that, okay? And then when you get your shit together, you want to come back around and try to take your kids away from me. Nigga, fuck you. Oh, sorry. Oh, honey. Oh, I'm sorry. I have a lot of hostility. I'm sure he's going to send this into his lawyer. Go ahead. Send it in. Okay. Hi. The fuck? <laughs>